Hello friends, this is Pramil Pawar. In this video, we will discuss the question paper of PGC NET December 2015. This is paper 3 of Electronic Science. Here we will discuss the question paper in their solution from question number 51 to 75. For question number 1 to 50, please go to my previous videos. So here we will start. Question number 51. Arrange the below mentioned diodes in order of their increasing doping concentration level. So there are four different diodes are given. We have to arrange them on their uh, doping concentration level from lightly doped to heavily doped. So first is uh, normal diode, then avalanche diode, then zener diode, and last one is the tunnel diode, which is heavily doped. So current sequence is D A D C. First win is the correct answer. Question number 52. A 20 ohm resistor is connected in series with an inductor, a capacitor, and an ammeter across a 25 volts variable frequency supply. When the frequency is 400 hertz, the current attains its maximum value of 0.5 ampere, and the potential difference across the capacitor is 150 volt. If I draw the circuit diagram, then it will look like this. So there is a resistor, one inductor, and a capacitor with a meter, and uh, there is a sinusoidal signal of uh, this. Uh, so the voltage is given 25 volts power supply with uh, 400 hertz. And uh, the current uh, which is 0.5 ampere, the resistance value is given 20 ohm. We have to find uh, this inductor value, inductance value and capacitance value. And the voltage is also given across the capacitance which is 150 volts. So using KVL, we can easily solve this by writing the equations and uh, find the value of L and C. Another method is if frequency is given and this is RLC circuit, so you know the cutoff frequency is formula is 1 upon 2 pi root LC. So here F is given here, we can find F into 2 pi is equal to 1 upon LC and uh, for the combination of L and C, uh, this equation is satisfied that will be our answer so a and b is the correct answer so correct option is first one question number 53 arrange the below referred amplifiers in the decreasing order of the input impedance so operational amplifier op m have highest input impedance so it will come at first then common collector transistor amplifier then common emitter and then common base transistor amplifier so correct sequence is d c b a d c b a third one is the correct answer now question number 54 for a logic family if vh is the minimum output high level voltage L is the maximum output low level voltage minimum acceptable input high level voltage VIL is maximum acceptable input low level voltage. Correct relationship among these. So to remember this sequence, I will show you one figure. A figure. In this figure, you can easily find the correct sequence. This is logic one means high level, logic zero means low level, and this is output voltage level and this is input voltage level. So at high level, output voltage have maximum. So VOH is greater than high level at input, then low level at input, and then low level at output. So, this one is the correct option. Now, question number 55 In the 8257 DMA controller, the content of bits 15RD equal to 0 and A14 WR, which uh, indicating right, is equal to 1 of the terminal count register indicate right cycle in memory mapped read cycle in memory mapped right cycle in input output mapped read cycle in input output both read and write are active low uh, pins in 8257 dma controller 
and the correct option is uh, B and C. So correct answer is third one. Following are the arithmetic operation operators in C. So there are four operators. So given which of the following sequence is correct in order of decreasing decreasing priority of the above given operators. So decreasing order is first is increment either post or pre then unary minus after that there is modulus and in the last there is binary plus. So correct sequence is C B A D. In the options there is no sequence here. So correct sequence is C B A D. Now question number 57. Following are the microwave bands given. So to remember this I will show you the band structure. So here band and their corresponding frequency range is given. So ascending order of the frequency is easily you can remember L S C X Q K K A V W and M M. So current sequence is B C Q and D B A C D B A C D B A C D fourth one is the correct answer. Question number 58. Consider the following probability density function for a random variable x. So there are three PDFs are given and arrange the above functions in terms of increasing order of mean of random variable x. So to calculate the mean, the formula is expectation of x is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x f of x dx. So this is here our pdf which is given and uh, we will put the limit minus 1 to 1 on the place of minus infinity infinity x into 1 dx easily you can calculate the pdf of this it comes as uh, for a it is 0 this is for it is 1 upon 3 and uh, for this uh, it comes minus 2 upon 3 so sequence is c a and b so there is no option here in this way you can calculate the mean of any PDF. Question number 59. Following semiconductor materials are given. Silicon, germanium, gallium phosphide and gallium arsenide. Arrange them in ascending order of their band gap. The correct option is. So you know the band gap of silicon is 1.1 electron volt. For germanium it is 0.7 electron volt. For gallium phosphide, it is 2.2 electron volt, and for gallium arsenide, it is 1.4 electron volt at 300 Kelvin. So, correct sequence will be B A D C. B A D C. First one is the correct option. Now, question number 60. Consider the following circuit. So, there are three RC circuit is given. Arrange the above circuit in terms of decreasing number of total number of poles and zeros. So here we can easily find the transfer function T of J omega or T of S and which is nothing but V2 of S upon V1 of S. So here in uh, numerator our uh, uh, numerator zeros will indicate in numerator and poles will indicate in the denominator so really we can find number of poles and zeros so they are decreasing number c b and a c b a fourth one is the correct answer now there is a direction for from question number 61 to 17 the following items consists of two statements one level as assertion and other level as reason you are to examine the two statements carefully and decide if the assertion and reason are usually true and if so whether the reason is correct explanation of the assertion select the answer to these items using the codes given below and mark your answer accordingly we will select uh, answer 1 if both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a select 2 if both a and r are true but r is not the correct explanation of a select 3 
if a is true but r is false and select answer 4 if a is false but r is true so question number 61 when a character diode is connected to an, an inductor L in a resonant circuit, the resonant frequency varies linearly with voltage applied to the character. So here, this is correct statement because the PN junction used is an hyper abrupt PN junction. So this is also correct, but it's not the correct explanation of this. So we'll choose the answer two. Now question number sixty-two. Laplace and jet transform can be applied to the analysis of many unstable systems and consequently play an important role in the investigation of the stability or instability of the system. So this statement is correct, is true. The reason of convergence of Laplace transform of x of t is given by the expression. So here in the expression you will observe that there is a sigma which indicates through only real number. There should be s which would be sigma plus j omega so in case of laplace transform so this is there is a point not correct a is true but r is false so correct option is 3 question number 63 a small signal amplifier is one where the input voltage is sufficiently small and change in output current is only a small fraction of the mean output current so this statement is correct. Several stages of small signal amplifiers are therefore coupled together in cascade. This is also correct, but it's not the correct explanation of an assertion. So our option will be two. Question number sixty-four. In the figure above, output in high state Q3, this transistor, acts as an emitter follower with its associated low output impedance. This low output impedance provides a small time constant for charging up any capacitive load as the output. This action is called active pull up and it provides very fast rise time waveform at TTL totem pole output. So this statement is correct here. Totem pole output cannot be wire ended that is outputs of a number of gate cannot be tied together to obtain and operation of these outputs. This is also correct so here 64 the option will be 2 because uh, there is no relation with the reason with the assertion so option 2 is the correct question number 65 the data bus of a microprocessor is used to transfer information between the microprocessor and memory and between the microprocessor and input output device this is correct statement the data bus of a microprocessor is unidirectional so here this is wrong it is bidirectional. So this is wrong. A is true but R is false. So correct option is 3. Question number 66. Unless we call initialized graph INIT GRAPH, we cannot draw anything on the screen. This is correct statement. Any shape drawn on the screen can be animated using the get image and put image function. This is also correct and correct explanation of given assertion. So option 1 is the correct answer. Question number 67. Circular polarization is a special case of elliptical polarization. So this is correct. In elliptical polarization, the wave has two components. One is traversing in x direction, other traverses in y direction. Which causes the electric vector to rotate as a function of time. So this is also correct and correct explanation of assertion. So option 1 is correct. Question number 68. As compared to PWM, PAM and PPM, pulse width modulation, pulse amplitude modulation and pulse position modulation. PCM is a pulse code modulation. Is much better for noise immunity. So this is correct experiment. PCM depends only on the presence or absence of pulses at any given time. Not on any characteristic of the pulses which could be distorted. So this is also correct and correct explanation of given assertion. So our option will be 1. Question number 69. Light is electromagnetic wave in nature. These may be X-rays, radio waves and microwaves. So this statement is correct. The amount of energy depends on the intensity of the light wave. 
the energy associated with each photon is proportional to the frequency this is also correct expression but it's not the correct expression of given assertion so we'll choose option 2 question number 17 the dynamics of a system can be represented by a series of first order differential equations and this is correct the state variables describe the future response of a system given the present state the excitation inputs and the equations describing the dynamics so this is also correct and a correct explanation of the given assertion so option 1 is the correct answer so there is a direction for question number from 71 to 75 read the passage and answer the questions from 71 to 75 that follow based on your understanding of the passage so here is the passage based on microprosa a microprocessor is a semiconductor chip fabricated with entire central processing unit on it it is a programmable device that accepts binary data from an input device processes the data according to the instructions stored in the memory and provides result as output basically microprocessor performs two functions fetches an instruction from the memory and performs the operation specified by the instruction there are special inputs to the microprocessor called interrupts external devices use these interrupts to get the microprocessor attention a microcomputer can be built by using 8.5 microprocessor along with many other chips such as 8.5 etc 8.085 microprocessor is 8 bit microprocessor which has 8 bit data registers whereas 8.86 is a 16 bit microprocessor So here is question number seventy-one. In eight zero eight five, if the clock frequency is five megahertz, the time required to execute an instruction of eighteen T states is. So single T state indicates to one clock pulse or clock frequency. So for eighteen T state, simply we can calculate. So eighteen will be multiplied by one upon five. So mega. So it would be 3.6 micro second. So correct option is two. Question number 72. In 8085 microprocessor, the value of the most significant bit of the result following the execution of any arithmetic or boolean instruction is stored in. So it is talking about MSB of flag register. So I will draw the flag register here. This is of 8 bit. where at the msb we will see the sign flag then zero flag this is bit is not defined then auxiliary carry flag again this is not defined parity flag not defined and last one is carry flag so there are five flags where msb is represented as the sign so sign instead of flag is our correct option Question number seventy-three. Push B instruction in eight zero five microprocessor causes the contents of register B only to be copied in the stack. The contents of register B and C to be transferred in the stack and the registers get clear. The contents of registers B and C to be copied in the stack. So third one is the correct answer. The contents of registers B and C to be copied in the stacks and the contents of the registers b and c does not alter here question number 74 the techniques of assigning a memory address to each i o device in the computer system is called correct answer is fourth one memory mapped input output question number 75 which instruction cannot force the 805 processor to come out of alt state so correct answer is hold Fourth one is the correct answer. So that's all about this video. We have completed the paper three, and uh, thank you very much. Thanks for your kind attention. Your all suggestions or comments are most welcome. Please like, share, and comment, and subscribe my channel Praveen two five four double eight. All the best, friends. Keep it up.